Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I kind of have to talk a little bit more quiet because my roommate is having class right now. You guys probably all know because hashtag coronavirus. So today's video is going to be a review on the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. She is so pretty. I think this palette was $40. My friend got it for me as a gift. Thank you to my friend, Niels. <laughs> if we compare it to the last one, which it's a little dirty, but if we compare it, they look so different. This packaging is glossy, which I like, and this one's like matte, which I also like, but I like this one better. This one's more chic. These are the two next to each other. I have opened it before, but I haven't swatched any of the shades because I wanted to save it. Let me get the other one open so we can compare them side by side also. But I know that there's like that tea that was spilled that the original didn't have carmine in it and this one now does. But yeah, there's carmine in this. So that means that it's no longer vegan. Okay, so. Okay, so this one is a lot more bright. There's bright colors in this one too, but I don't know. I feel like this one's more fun, more summery. I like this one better just from the looks. Um, this is so dirty. <laughs> I kind of want to pin my hair back. How are you guys feeling about this whole like coronavirus situation? I feel kind of upset. I feel like my last semester of college was taken from me and that kind of sucked, but it is what it is. We're moving on to bigger and better things. There's that. <laughs> I'm just like cleaning my brush on a makeup wipe because I like this brush a lot for eyeshadow and I have like all of my clean brushes here, but I like this one a lot. I'm a little scared because I don't typically use products like this. Oh, also, I like ran out of my brow definer, so I had to go to Nordstrom Rack because that was closer than anything else. I got this brow pencil from NYX and it's like a little light. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can tell. And this is probably also a little light. The other option was black and my hair's not black. I am new to this. This is like my first time using a product like this. I also went and got a eyeshadow base and eyeshadow base. Wow, it's like fully sealed. I got this eyeshadow base from NYX. I've never used it before. I should probably use a brush for this. I'm just gonna use this lip brush to do it. Oh no, this is a detailer brush. We are going to use it to Okay, maybe that's a lot. We're gonna use it to prime my lids. And I'm thinking because on Thursday, so my roommate was in my room this morning and like uh, she was watching like the weather and the guy was just so happy. And he was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna be fully honest. I don't really remember what he said, but it was something along the lines of spring is officially on Thursday and I just thought it was really funny because he was so happy and like with everything going on with the coronavirus and everyone's freaking out, it made me laugh. And that inspired me to do, to wear this top and to do a spring look. I don't know if it's actually gonna be spring, but I wanna use pink and yellow and I wanna see how it goes. And I went and got eyeshadow primer. Should I prime more than that? I went and got eyeshadow primer so that I could fully test this product how well it does. Okay, so I don't know exactly what I want to do yet. I kind of want to do something sunset-y, but I've never done that and I don't know if I can do it, but I feel like I should try because why not? I think I'm gonna start with the shade. No joke here, this yellow one. Excited, but also nervous. It's a lot on the brush, so I feel like maybe I should tap it off, but there's still a lot on the brush. I really have no idea what I'm doing, you guys. I'm just going for it. Oh no, wait, I don't wanna do that. Does that count? I'm still gonna use the same brush and I'm actually gonna dip into Tipsy Girl right here. A lot came off when I tapped it that time, so even though I just totally wiped off all that primer. But let's just go ahead and... You know what? I actually wanna use this brush. I don't know what it's called, but it's by Real Technique. I just feel like this one really like is so good at buffing and I barely have to like do any of the work when I use it because it's so big. It just like 
is like buffing everything at the same time. It's fabulous. <laughs> I need to like not make weird faces because then I like blend my shadow into weird creases that aren't there and then it's like I have lines. I wish I had some tape. But I really wanted to like be popping, you know? So what's your guys' take on the whole coronavirus? situation are you like being affected well i guess everyone's kind of being affected by it i feel like i'm being affected heavily i'm not sick but like and i know that other people are also going through this but i'm just like saying it like i said in the beginning feel like i got my last semester of college totally just like taken away from me and that really sucked and i'm afraid that you know i'm gonna have my graduation taken away from me as well which would also really suck because i've worked so hard to get to where i am and i want to be able to like walk across that stage and like celebrate it you know i feel like there are different shades and that's my fault because i put yellow down over here at, what am i tripping there no they're different shades we're going with it they're like totally different shades and this one of course looks better i think right i don't know i'm just trying to deepen it so that maybe it like matches this side a little bit more oh my god i got some of that brow stuff right there i really really have no idea what i'm doing i hope it looks good i think that i kind of want it to all be super blended and pretty so i probably maybe should have put the orange down first i really want to just swatch this glitter here at some point in this video i think i'm gonna go in with the shade my man with this brush and just like blend it in here. I like never do colorful looks like this. I really wanted to use those colors in the palette. So I was like, why not just like go for it? I'll never know by like using colors like that or if I'm like able to, if I don't try, right? So. And just keep blending, just keep blending. I want to do like a full purple look. I also want to do one of those like transforming into an e-girl videos. I feel like I'm going to try and also film a lot while I can and while I have time right now. I don't even know if I mentioned, but both of my jobs, well, okay, one officially for sure, 100% is closed for like two weeks. The bar that I work at, I'm pretty sure they're going to have to too because like... I think I actually like this eye better than this eye. I feel like I'm blending this eye more out and this one more curved. I feel like I do that a lot. I need to work on that. Oh, there was a press conference this morning and they were saying that like there can't be any gatherings of more than 20 people or something like that in Boulder um, and 50 in Denver and the bar that I work at is in Boulder. So and I like kind of want to try a cut crease, but like I'm scared that I'm going to mess it up. But I feel like if I could get it, it would be so freaking cute, right? I'm just using this nude eyeliner to try and make it a little bit easier for me to like keep that area clean. So I feel like that kind of worked. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my concealer and I'm gonna do one eye at a time. And I definitely feel like I should have played it safe in case this ends up looking like poop. Did I say I was going into the shade No Joke? I'm not using the right brush for this, but I don't have anything else and this is like flat enough to where I can like pat it on. I need to buy a good brush set. I feel like it looked kind of crusty. I don't know why it looks crusty on my eye. I think it's my concealer, honestly. Or maybe it's the way I'm applying it. Can someone tell me? Of course, of course, it's gonna look better on this eye. This is not easy. I don't know how people do this. Okay, I think that looks okay. I'm gonna have to wash all these brushes again.
I'll try and do a thicker line today, but I'm really gonna have to Okay, so the eyeliner is having, well, I'm having a hard time. This eyeliner, it's dragging and it's not laying down smooth like it usually does. What do you guys think? I think I like it better like this. I really like this palette so far, but I feel like, I don't know if it's my concealer or if it's the shadow, but the, the like yellow looks a little crusty on my eye. I think I like it. <laughs> no, I definitely like it. Okay, that laid down nicely. Dang, Ollie, your hair is on everything. I'm gonna make a like graduation video still and take pictures. Isabel's gonna take the pictures and I'm also gonna ask her if she can do the video for me. I like need my hair extensions. I don't need them, but I would like to have my new hair extensions for my pictures and the video. So I don't know if that's going to happen. But yeah, we'll see. I wouldn't necessarily call this review so we're just talking about it and using it but so far i really like it i really need to get mascara all of my mascaras are dried out this shade right here no joke i feel like i should also maybe put a little bit of primer on my lower lashes I wanted it, I wanted it to like kind of fade out. I'm going in with the shade My Man right here. And I'm just gonna... Yes, cover that yellow. And I'm gonna go in with the yellow on the inner corner. And now I'm gonna go in with the shade Tipsy Girl right here on the very outer. I'm gonna go in with this, it has nothing on it, and I'm just gonna like blend all of that and like make it way less hard. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara. Not even gonna dip it again because it's dry anyways. I feel like you don't need a lot when you have lashes on. Actually, I like it. Oh my god, you guys just witnessed that. I'm just gonna let that dry for a sec and we're gonna choose a lip color and we're gonna come back and fix that. What do you guys think? I kinda wanna wear like a pink, but I also wanna wear like a nude. Let's see, I got this in my Ipsy. It smells really good, like roses. I feel like now that would look like too much, but we can try it. This lipstick, though, I will say, feels really freaking good. I need some chapstick. Okay, well, here's one option with lips. I actually kind of like it. 
but I feel like a nude. So <laughs> I have these, which all look the same, but they're not. Promise ya. I'm feeling like this one. No, I already know. I don't like it. Okay, let's try this one. I also don't like this one. Clearly, I'm having a difficult time. So it's by Dior Lip Maximizer. I like really wanna film a video about my hair too going over it because I feel like it's starting to really look like crap. And I think I just decided because I have homework to do, I'm going to film a separate video. I can film it tomorrow even. And I'll do like the swatches and talk about how, what I think between the two different palettes um, so far. And I'll just end this video here today, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and this look. Let me know down below what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.